Hi, this is Simon Kirk from Bad Company, and you're watching Artisan News. Bad Company had some time off, and I remember being approached by David Fischoff, you know, who runs these camps, to do a Ringo tour. And I did several Ringo tours, and um, it was during that time that he said, oh, by the way, I'm thinking of starting up a thing called a rock camp, you know. Uh, would you be interested in being a counsellor? Or... And I said, sure, yeah. I mean, I, I like teaching, you know. So I ended up doing eight. I know. More than anyone else. Although I think Kip Winger is nipping at my heels. But I've done eight camps. Yeah, my career now is uh, rock and roll camps interspersed with bad company tours. No, I, I don't do any uh, counselling anymore. I mean, I, you know, I serve my apprenticeship. and But I'm, you know, I'm, I'm on the board and I do consulting. And any time they come to New York, you know, and call me and I'll pop down and say hello and do a bit of teaching. So that's, that's cool. You know, time is limited, and I believe there's like eight or nine drummers. So I can't take, uh, you know, I can only give certain things to a, a mass audience. But what I plan to do is to get each drummer up and sit on the second kit and play along with me. And I'll have them play first for a minute or so, and then, then tweak them and give a little bit of advice, and then they'll play with me. I think the best way to teach someone is to sit down and play, you know, play with them. You know, so that's what I want to do. Mm. I tell you, one of the most rewarding things was a camp that we ran in London a few years ago in Abbey Road. And apart from doing recording in Number Two Studio, where the, all the Beatles made their you know classic albums, I got to teach a brand new guy drums, and he'd never played before. And this was a real challenge for me because most guys come here if they're going to pay all this money. You know, some of them have, they have a working knowledge of their instrument, but this guy was a complete novice. And I really thought, there's no way I can do anything. But after three days, I got him to hold down a really good 4-4 four, four beat. And I was so emotional. He, he played so well in the finale um, that everyone was almost in tears. He was, and I guess he's still playing now. But that, that was my, one of my shining moments. Have you had any famous campers or campers who might have gone on to do... <laughs> Know, to kind of actually have a career in. We had, no, no. I mean, we did a, a camp in the Bahamas, and I believe it was the uh, the staff of Us magazine. And one of them was a particularly, uh, how can I put this delicately, pain in the ass, high-level CEO or whatever, and he refused to turn down his guitar. And uh, I took him aside and I said, aisle or window? He said, what are you talking about? I said, the seat on your plane taking you home if you don't turn that bloody guitar down. He said, well, you don't... I said, listen, you know. So I bully with charm, and he turned down, and he was actually very good. So no, no real I, no real famous people in, in, in the corporate world have been through our ranks, yeah. you know. Back in the no. We still play songs. We still... Uh, enjoy playing and we care very much about what songs are included and how we run the set. It's it's really hasn't changed at all uh, in, since 40 years, you know. Bad company, oh, we're just a bunch of grumpy old men now. Uh, no, I we, we plan to do some American shows and European shows this year. Prices have gone up a bit and, um, you know, most of our fans now are, have less on the top and more around the middle. But it's still good to see them. Is it difficult knowing that the, the industry, even with record sales and concert tickets, are so, it's so unpredictable? Well, it's pretty much on the ropes right now. I mean, the record industry certainly is. Live music isn't so much. And it's all down to us to, to make sure that we don't price ourselves out of business. You know, when I see people, you know, the Stones maybe are the exception, but anything above 100, 150 bucks for a ticket is outrageous, I think. Hey, hey. That's when I call 